Hello, hello all. So welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia. This video I am going to, I'm going to make it quick. I'm just going to show you how I prep a cup before I start working on it. So it's going to include sanding and spray painting. So if you're interested and you need to know how to do this, then stick around and I will get started. Okay, I am back. Bear with me. I know this is not the most glorious view looking into my trash can. All right, so I'm holding my cup in my hand like this. This is how I like to do it. Um, you know, everybody does it a different way. I use a sanding block. Please don't ask me what grit this is. I have no idea. I just found it in my basement and it's my husband's and so I use it. I don't know what grit it is, but it's good enough to get this nice and scuffed up, which is what I wanna do. And the reason why we do this is so that the paint sticks to the cup better. I know that there are some people who don't do this at all. I, I have skipped this step and found that the paint peeled off really, really easily and I had issues with it. So I faithfully sand my cups. It's up to you what you wanna do. Make sure you get your bottom. But I mean, this is an easy part and I do wear a mask when I'm doing this because it's, it's metal particles and you're gonna see when I wipe the cup. Um, and that's why I do it over the trash can. Is it really doing anything doing it over the trash can? I don't know, but I don't want those little metal particles on my desk. So I do it over my trash can. And I'm gonna scuff it all up, look it over, make sure I didn't miss any spots. And you're gonna see that the shininess, it's getting, it's getting dull. Get the bottom and then I take it off and I make sure I get the rim. Rims are important, don't forget your rims. A whole lot doesn't need to go into this. It's not really involved. Take your 91% alcohol, spray your cup, take your paper towel, wipe it down. Now, after you do this wipe down, you do not want to touch this cup with your hands because you don't want the oils from your fingers getting on it um, because it will show through the spray paint or it can. I've had it happen. So then I am just going to wipe this down really good and I'm going to take my hand out. I'm gonna hold it with my paper towel and I'm gonna stick it on my pole. And this is where I'm gonna be ready to take it outside and spray paint it. Okay, I apologize, it's dark out. I'm doing this at night. I'm working during the day, by the time I get home, cook dinner, it's dark out. So at this time of year anyway. So here's my cup on my stick. I have a long stick. I do like to do this out back uh, on my, I have a, a horse that my husband built for me, but right now I don't like going out back because everything's snowy on the patio. So I do this on the front porch, which my husband hates that I do, but it's undercover. So I've been doing it here. So I, for this cup, I'm gonna paint it ultra matte black. So how I do it is just, I do this and I just spin. I spin and short, short bursts. And right now it's windy, so I'm having a hard time with this. Spray the bottom. So it's short bursts because you don't want runs in your spray paint. If you're gonna glitter the cup, and you're gonna leave the glitter fluffy, you're not gonna tack it down, then the runs aren't gonna be as noticeable or they won't be noticeable at all. But if you're doing, like for this cup, I am going to be doing the tack it method on it. I don't want any runs. So that's pretty much it. That's how I spray paint a cup. Just make sure I hit it all. I got pretty good coverage. Give a little spray back at the bottom and I don't wanna overdo it and that's it. And it's all done there's the bottom and you can't really see very very well but you get the idea it's really the technique that you're looking for okay okay so my cup is nice and dry now and it is ready for me to do whatever uh, I need to start doing on this whether it be tack it mod podge spray adhesive epoxy it's ready for anything so I hope this helps if you have any questions please post them in the comments below. 
Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. All right, later people.